Welcome to the Fitchburg Cultural Council. This is our October meeting for 2021. It is Tuesday, October 19th. I'm gonna take this off while I talk. Thanks for everyone being here. This is a public meeting. We are a body that is a volunteer body, part of the Massachusetts Cultural Council. And our job here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts is to support the arts. Tonight, uh, we uh, offer any guests, if they're here, to speak on any subject related to the agenda and they're welcome to speak. We have no one here from the public today. Um, we also want to let everyone know that this is being recorded and filmed, and so anything we say is being put down for public record permanently on video. We're gonna start with um, some grantee updates. We have one that we're gonna vote on, and I'm really thankful everyone's here tonight, so we can vote on this. We have one modification. It's a sheet of paper in your pile there, the New Players Theater Guild. Because of the situation, they would like to postpone their event to August 12 to 15 of 2022. And this is grant number 39616. So I'd like to get a motion to, as we know, we've been very lenient with everyone due to COVID, and this had involved um, children as well. So I would like to get a motion on the table to um, approve this. So moved. So Matt is willing to approve, the, uh, put out a motion to approve this for the New Players Theater Guild. Anyone speaking to the motion? No, a second. 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 <laughs> Audrey, anyone speaking to the motion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we agree that the New Players Theater Guild grant number 39616 is approved to move their event to 2022 August. Thank you very much. Our treasurer is not here this evening, so we're gonna skip the treasurer's report, but we do have um, one invoice, which is in conjunction with Fitchburg Open Studios that I'd also like to get a vote on. This is from Strong Style Coffee, downtown on Boulder Drive. They were willing to open for us on hours that they were not normally open and have their staff there to support the Fitchburg Open Studios project. So they've charged um, the Fitchburg Open Studios um, event a $400 amount, and I'd like to get a motion on the table to approve this since she supported us in our efforts. I'd like to make a motion to approve this invoice. Second. Thank you, so that's a first from Audrey, second from Matt. Anyone wanna speak to the motion? I just wanna clarify, it includes 924, which was also the creative meet and greet. And that was Thank definitely you. really important that they were open for our event. So it's, it's the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we're supporting her staff for the Friday, 924, 925, and 926. So that, believe that, all in favor, the motion on the table was to approve it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much, Strong Style Coffee, for supporting Fitchburg Open Studios. Um, we have uh, the next item on the agenda, so you guys have a copy of the treasurer's report and we'll pass that off until next time when Eileen can be here. The next item is new membership and tonight at the city council, they're going to um, have Liz on the agenda, so Liz Murphy. So we'll um, see what happens there. Does anybody else have any notes or comments about new members? I know there was an event last week, which was a training on how to teach us Yes, we had a training session for council members who were able to come to learn how to interview potential candidates uh, to, for consideration to recommend to the mayor to join the council. And it was a productive session. And those of you who are still interested in learning that information, we can always schedule another time to get together privately if you like. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if anyone's interested in joining the council, come to one of our meetings, chat with me or Casey or Tamar um, at the end of the meeting and we'll schedule a time for us to sit down and chat with you um, uh, for a long length of time about what it means to be a cultural council member. So as a note on that, the Fitchburg Cultural Council is looking for new members. Um, we time out after three years, so we're actively looking for new volunteers to work into the next three-year cycle. So thanks for everybody for your efforts with that. 
The next thing I want to talk about is the Fitchburg Open Studios uh, event, just to do a recap. And I printed out and gave you all something through email as well, which was a little bit of an overview of how the participants felt. And again, we had participants obviously in Fitchburg, but also in Gardner, Ashburnham, Ashby. And so I don't know if everyone had a chance to review this. Um, overall, the information here is positive. Everyone had a good time. Um, some of the folks were a little slower than others. There were some sales. Um, I know Boulder Gallery was really thrilled. They had a good turnout. So I wanted to sort of get, um, this is early to decide a date for next year, but I wanted to see, get your opinions briefly today on the weekend, what you all thought, and if you thought that the Blacksmith Festival weekend was a good time to hold this, because it might be something we can plan for a little earlier next year so we can make a little more of a bang with this event. So does anyone have any comments? I'd love to entertain a comment or two. Uh, I, I personally thought that it was overwhelming having the Blacksmith Festival on the same weekend. Because then like, you know, people wanted to hang out at the Blacksmith Festival for, you know, for hours or so, but then they wouldn't have enough time to go visit the, um, you know, open studios and they might stay more in Fitchburg and weren't I don't know if um, the studios that are outside of Fitchburg or outside of downtown didn't get as much people coming. So I think maybe um, it's good to consider the Blacksmith weekend and either do it like before it and then we have the statues all around town or maybe like do it after because like, we already got people into the area for a Blacksmith Festival and then say next week come back. That's my thought. Yeah, we definitely had that um, opinion. We had our out-of-town folks were wishing it was a different weekend. So anybody else, the museum, Jesse, did your? Well, we had an excellent turnout. Um, I think it was nice timing for us with this weekend as we were also opening an exhibit. So I think it cross-fed the artists who were in residence, but it also, so we had people coming to see the exhibit and saw the artists and vice versa, people who came to see the artists and then got to see the exhibit. Um, but if we moved it, so it, I think for the, from the museum point of view, if we were to move it, don't move it back because we will be an install and we, the museum will, we will have less space to offer people. If you want to move it, move it further into October because we will we'll be entirely open, but half the museum will be closed for install earlier in September. Thank you. Anyone else? Any feedback? I know Matt was there. It was fine. I think you were... On location? I was on location, yes. I was uh, bound to the uh, uh, Riverfront Park. Um, what I liked about having it the same day was uh, capitalizing on the, uh, we already had an audience of people coming in from downtown, so I, I think that's in, in favor of keeping it, but um, I also know it can be uh, challenging. So I'm being very uh, equivocal in my, in my answer, which isn't that helpful, but. Yeah, well, no, yeah, I wanted I'll to. I agree with you on that, because I thought it was great that, that um, it, it wasn't a collision of people, but um, it just seemed to be rich and robust, and people were finding the um, Mill Street area as well. I do know that I definitely engaged more folks as the day went on. More people were stopping. Um, so the first couple hours was pretty slow, but by the end I had a fair amount of traffic coming through. And that was some of the feedback actually from some of the, the participants also, was that they, they wished it had been maybe slightly a little less early, a little later in the day. Um, they also talked about, one of them mentioned wanting to do sort of like a not after party, but an after recap with everyone, because they couldn't all go to each other's studios. So the Historical Society, when they do the house tour, they do a preview night that Friday, um, where they all kind of do a tour, a group, like they do a group tour, and then there's one host who's identified, and they have like refreshments and cocktails, so maybe that's something. Well, I mean, we had the meet and greet, but maybe instead of doing the meet and greet, doing a, a micro tour of the, the, the artists, and you have like from four to six you can tour, and then six to seven, you, you all end up at the same place and you can 
May I ask a question? Is that done by bus or how is that done? I, every, they, everybody brings themselves. So you don't have to go, you don't have to go to each location because obviously some people might not get out of work early, but. Um. It's an opportunity for those who are um, working in the event to go and check out the other artists and their studios. Um, in place of the quote-unquote meet and greet, but it can culminate at a certain time of, of the evening. Everybody shows up at a designated spot, wherever that might be. And so after every, all the artists have had a chance to tour each other's studios at their leisure, they can then come together and talk about the event and do some additional networking and, and uh, kind of accomplish both at the same time. And I think also to kind of ease it, it there, there are volunteers for the event, and those volunteers will sit at people's homes, so the homeowners don't have to stay there. Mm. I was wondering about that. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a great idea. What do you guys think for next year? Which means we'll have to move our um, meet and greet. I mean, that's, that's fine. That's fine, right? Yeah. And I just I have a comment on the house tours. Um, that's in the middle of the debt of winter and always uh, snow on the roads. And they still come out. Yeah. <laughs> They'll come out and it's, it's just kind of a festive uh, Do we have any spares? activity. So, so weather and should... Even in winter, <laughs> if people want to see things, they, they'll find a way to do it. Well, thanks guys. I don't think we have to decide today, but I wanted to put it in our heads so that we could start thinking about dates. And I know some people were unhappy for sure, um, but it sounds like overall, I think everyone was pretty positive with the time of year. So um, save that for the future and maybe after the grant cycle, we can decide. And I'd like to decide earlier so people can, we can start the marketing sooner next year. All right, thank you for that. Any other comments about Fitchburg Open Studios? I think it was great. Thank you, everybody, for your help, support. I mean, I think the only thing I would add is if, if we weren't to pair it with the Blacksmith Festival, I think it's really important to have a place where people can go eat. So whether it's just working with more concentration with the local restaurants or, or inviting some food trucks at a certain point to set up, I, I think that was what was nice about the Blacksmith Festival is being able to tell people they can go have a meal as well as some more art and activity. Which is one reason it would be good to do it during the same weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of interesting. All right. Thank you, everybody, for your feedback. And we thank the public for participating in Fitchburg Open Studios 2021. We had a nice roster of at least 26 artists, and we had a couple pods of groups. So that was a really nice event. And thank you to Fitchburg State for producing the materials for us, which meant we had a savings on um, cost. So that was a wonderful event. Thank you, everybody. So we're gonna move to the grant training schedule. The grant um, deadline was opened up to November 1st. So we have, everyone has some time, so the public knows they can still get in their applications for the grants. Um, we have asked Fitchburg State to at, allow us to use their facility for our review of the grant books. Um, because we have had some members of our council who have trouble hearing here, so that will be a little easier, I think. So, Matt, could you tell us some potential dates that we could look at? Yeah, so uh, I've got these dates penciled in um, in middle and late November, um, so these spaces are available to us for these dates if we would like. So it's uh, meeting room S06 in the Hammond building, um, which is on the street level uh, down the hall from the bookstore. It's a conference room that holds about 14 people, which ought to be sufficient for us. So um, I have reserved Monday, November 15th from 4.30 to 6.30. Wednesday, November 17th from 4.30 to 6.30. Monday, November 29th from 4.30 to 6.30. And Wednesday, December 1st from, you guessed it, 4.30 to 6.30. Perfect. So I'm thinking we could keep all those dates, and we, I don't know if we would need all four of them. It depends on the volume, but... Mm -hmm. it, yeah, we didn't use four last year, yeah. so... But we, if that works, we can... Madam Chair, um, <clears throat> I would like to request that they 
um, a doodle poll of some kind go out with these dates and times on them because we we really need a quorum at every mm. one of these sessions. So um, hopefully if we can get everybody to commit to these, we won't have to go back to the to the uh, beating well to find some other times. Okay. Sure. Good idea. Thank you. Thank you, Fitchburg State. So Matt's already booked these times and we can do the doodle poll as Joe suggested, make sure everyone can be there and with the hope that we don't need all four. My goal was to get as much as we could done before Thanksgiving and then obviously get done before the holiday time. So, all right, so we'll do that, send a doodle poll. Thank you, Matt. My pleasure. And I'll follow up with an email about that. Um, the winter event, we're gonna pass. Um, welcome to the public. Sorry, I was talking, I didn't see you. Um, Liz Mur Murphy is not here. She was gonna give us a little bit of some date ideas for the winter. So what's interesting is that there is a holiday event happening already the first weekend de in December. Um, it's gonna be at the Church at the Top of the Common, which is name I always forget. First Parish Church. Thank you, First Parish. And so I don't wanna cross, um, I don't wanna inter, I don't wanna make a mess of too many holiday events. So Sally Craigan's already got that one. They're actively promoting it already. So I was gonna to talk to Liz Murphy at, the, um, at City Hall and see if we can maybe do a, a date later, like a weekend later, so we're not intermixing with that existing event. So would, that's to be determined. Would they be cross-promotional? They could. Because aren't they both kind of art market kind of? Mm -hmm. I wanted to invite the same artists and crafters oh. though that okay. are gonna be up there. <laughs> so I didn't want it that, you know, we couldn't do it at the same time. Um, so, because I, I was thinking of the same exact weekend okay. that they've already picked. Yeah. So, so that's to be determined. So we'll move on from that one. Certainly if anybody wants to volunteer, I'll take volunteers. I mean, I do have a question about yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Um, so you want to s still do it, but you just want to change the date to like a different time. Do we have enough time to like promote it and organize it? So the other organization is just starting now too. Mm -hmm. I think we do. Mm -hmm. We have a month, the okay. month of November. Yeah. Are you worried? Well, um, uh, at the last PR meeting, we, um, we were somewhat concerned about um, uh, being able to <laughs> accomplish putting it together and such. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. Um, the next PR meeting won't be until uh, the first of November, not the first of November, but at the beginning of November. Beginning of November. Well, we have an artist that volunteered, I won't say her name since she's not here, to help. And I need City Hall to agree to the space. So I was hoping Liz could be here today, but she's not. So um, maybe I can wait till next time for that. I think we could do it. Yeah. You'd be surprised how fast artists can pull things together. Um, okay, so we have a couple of meeting minutes to review from the last meetings. There's one missing, but we'll do that next time. So there's two here from August 17th. And there's a printout in front of you and from September 21st, so last month's. So maybe we could, if anyone has any adjustments, certainly we can make them. Matt's gone over these. And there was an adjustment that was made to the August one that involved finances. Which one are we doing right now, August? Well, I'd like to do them both, unless somebody has something. I'd like to make a motion to get these approved to put into our records. Would anyone like to make a motion to approve the minutes from August 17th and from September 21st so we can put them into our records? I make a motion that we approve the minutes from 
August 17th and I'll second that. So we have first from Jesse, a second from Claudia. All in favor, if anyone's not speaking to the motion. Aye. All in favor, thank Aye. you. Aye. Aye. So the August 17th minutes, Matt, and the September 22nd minutes are approved to put into our records. And now we're gonna move to FCC TV. And I thought Audrey could give us a recap on how it's going over there at FATV. Thanks to FATV for allowing us the use of their facility and everybody who's been working hard. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Um, so uh, um, the August and September taping day, we, um, there was only a few of us that were able to make it, but the last one um, we were fully crewed up, which I was really excited about and happy about. Um, we have a, now we have an opening sequence, which is really fun, um, <laughs> uh, which is very sitcom-y. Um, so uh, I still need to put together and add um, Matt and Claudia in there as well. Um, and I think we're starting to get the hang of things a little bit more. Um, our next uh, taping date will be um, Tuesday, November 9th and Tuesday, December 14th. I was trying to get it before Christmas and all of that madness. Um, so uh, if you're on the crew, make sure to write that date down, those two dates down. Um, the next episode will probably air, I'm estimating uh, November 3rd, Wednesday, November 3rd, um, which uh, will air the, um, episode that we just recently did, which was um, St. Bernard's School, uh, the SBTV and Robotics Club, um, as well as um, the Fitchburg High School Studio um, uh, Production Program, Broadcasting Program. Um, we uh, will have to renew uh, FATV membership um, in January, so we'll have to decide whether or not um, the, those who have currently been crewing um, can commit to continuing doing so. Um, yeah. Thank you for that reminder. That involves our bookkeeping too. Mm -hmm. I think it's been amazing. I hope everybody's had an opportunity to look. It's been a lot of fun. I certainly have learned a lot and everyone's been hanging out, helping. Yeah, so. I think so. And, I, and uh, I'll just echo what Audrey said, the crew at FATV have been fantastic. Very patient with newcomers like myself and <laughs> indulgent to those who know what they're doing as well. So I think they're, they're wonderful to work with. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks everybody for your hard work. Thank you, Audrey, for the update. So the fall dates that we should be aware of, or sorry, go ahead, yeah, yeah. I just want to thank FATV too, who continues to be such an awesome partner for this show, mm -hmm. and Nate Glennie especially, mm -hmm. uh, you know, staying late with us, making sure we don't, we don't screw it up too bad, and, um, and, and kind of pushing us this last episode, Nate, he, he kept it going, so we tried to film it like a live show, so we were kind of moving the, the talent sort of, uh, in and out very quickly instead of breaking, and so we're kind of flying around, adjusting cameras, moving tables and chairs and, and props, and. Uh, and we're getting better. You can see it, and, and you know you can feel it, and uh, it's uh, it's good to see. I think after every episode, I, we all look at each other and say that was our best episode yet. Yeah. <laughs> every time. So and I think that's really positive. So we'll keep it going, and thanks FATV, we'll, we'll we'll keep it going. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for all the hard work. So the dates we should know are that it's airing November third, the next episode. Yes. And Tuesday, November 9th is the next filming, and December fourteenth is another filming after that. Yep. Okay, thank you. And we'll keep in mind that membership needs to be renewed. Okay, so the next thing we have is the social media. So it was brought to our attention from the Massachusetts Cultural Council that in terms of our publicity, local cultural councils are not supposed to use the Massachusetts Cultural Council branding, which is kind of interesting. So we need to make an adjustment in our social media marketing and we need to create our own um, branding in effect. So I put something at your stations there that, ha that says, um, let me just get my notes here. Where did I put it? It's a generic RFP, because here's what I'd like the council to potentially vote on today, if we can. 
Um, we could easily do a logo. We did one for our FCC TV. We could do another one, but it would be very nice to, to use some of our locally raised funds to put it back into the community and get an artist on board, somebody locally, a graphic designer, who could create one for us that would be used then in our PR, obviously any promotional materials and on our social media, because that's what we really need it for. We need it for the little profile image, the cover image, all these things in social media. So my idea was um, if we could maybe vote on a number today, I put a rough number there, and then certainly there's no deadline here. This is something we can work on. Um, I figured the RFP should be really simple and not too complicated. We're not like a corporation. Um, we're really a local arts organization. So um, I put together something super simple um, about visual identity and asking someone to give us a few concepts, something really rough, and then something that we could pay someone for. So I wanted to see if the council um, agreed with this idea and what your thoughts are on this, since we need to do it, apparently, according to the council. So. <laughs> I'd like to say something. Mm -hmm. um, I think that um, I think this is really great. And if there's anyone on the council so moved, um, I would recommend a motion to approve it as is, um, unless there's some strong feeling to make changes. What about a contest instead of, of a lot of artists and invite them for you know, a prize or gift card, whatever it may be, something we could put back into the community? Um, you know, and then we could get a lot of artists involved, and we certainly know enough of them. Um, so yeah, I think instead of just tiring out, maybe we have a, a contest. So here's a suggestion, because basically this is a uh, request for a proposal. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of like stating the budget and the, the parameters, but they could make a presentation. And then we'd have to decide among ourselves, like, so it wouldn't be the actual logo that they were design, would design, it would be a proposal. So I wonder if maybe we adjust the request for proposal title, because that's pretty corporate. That's like what you get in the business world, mm -hmm. and make it, maybe adjust it with that idea so that it is a competition, and the winner would get the, the monies. Would that fit into your idea? It's just a thought. It's really what's up to the council. You know? So instead of request for proposal, it could be Fitchburg Cultural Council logo competition? Yeah, if, if, if yeah. you like that. And then they would present their drafts to us by a certain date. We would vote on the one we love and pay them the, the funds. I, th I, I, I don't know. It could be fun. It could be a way to in, uh, engage with artists uh, even more. Mm. So we're kind of getting everybody to work yeah. <laughs> Claudia? I think more than the money, it's the bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's, well, true. That's true. It's a portfolio piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joe? Um, I'd also like to add, um, I think that that's an equally great idea, Derek, is to call it a contest versus an RFP. Um, one of the items worth considering, though, is the, the bullet point regarding uh, the delivery of the logo in the various formats. Um, that may be limiting, and we may want to use our funds to have the winner's drawings converted into the formats that are compatible. I don't know if that's technically feasible. But um, we've got some talented artists that have no or very little technical skills to be able to render logos like that in those formats. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice to put it out in the open for them. Okay, I have another idea. So what if we give the winning drawing in the competition 250, and we break up the other 250 and give that to a designer who could turn it into line art that would be digital? Sorry. <laughs> Somebody's got a, somebody has a thought. That way we could work with artists and we could work with a designer and they would both get something. Thought? Does that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that would, that could work and that makes it more inclusive to the community. Okay. Is the timeline a little aggressive with our grant timeline? It's aggressive. It's aggressive. We could adjust it. Yeah. I mean, technically, from the Cultural Council's perspective, we're not supposed to be using 
our their branding on our social media right now. So it's aggressive, but we also need to change it. So yeah, and we especially need to change it for um, when we send grantees um, their acceptance letters and to use our logo. If we have that all ready and say this is our logo that you can use, that's the very least. <laughs> Well, could you use that as a promotional opportunity to have a, I mean, it's not as attractive, but you have a, your logo here kind of placeholder. I'm just thinking, just knowing how, how much we have to get our grant decision meetings made and then to, ha to have to be fair and give people time to evaluate their submissions, to have to cram that into November too might be a little much for us. Um, how about we adjust to December and get this done by Christmas and then yeah. we're, it's in time for the letters in January? It gives people two months, roughly, give or take. Mm -hmm. So that would be our, our meeting. Let's just do this quick because we're at the end of the meeting anyway. We have some time. I'm just going to look at the calendar. So our meeting in December actually is the week of Christmas, so it's the 21st. So if we had everybody submit by, it would be December, say the 7th or so, so 14th, that's a week before. Mm. And then we have a, our meeting, we can decide at that meeting. Yeah. And then we would have it ready and in, in effect by the new year. And then they get some Christmas holiday. Holiday bonus money, yeah. something. Okay. So I'm going to make that adjustment. So that would be, it would be ready for December 14th, and then we would approve it on December 21st. And then maybe we can get that all sorted in January for the letters that go out. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can I add something on there? Um, I don't know if, uh, since we're splitting up the costs, uh, who would do this, but it'd be great that um, at the end of this, we have someone um, put together branding guidelines. Mm -hmm. Just so that, yeah, it makes it really easy for um, anyone doing PR here to just be like, all right, we're going to do XYZ. Yes, I was thinking that would go in with the section here, the final logo files and the font family. Um, I can make an adjustment there and just say branding guidelines, and that would be the designer that would do that. And I think that's fine if they don't need to, uh, it, um, for their submission, they don't have to create a whole mm -mm. branding guidelines or anything like that, just their initial design. Thank you, Joe. I had um, one other thought. Uh, b before we get, I think, um, Tamar, what would be good is uh, all these changes we've just discussed, put that into a succinct recommendation for motion tonight mm -hmm. so that we have it, uh, we have it documented. Um, but in terms of the timelines by which we change our logo, the Mass Cultural Council seems to be more interested in us getting it done sooner than later. And so I think we should separately have a brief discussion about an interim logo. Mm -hmm. And I know it had been suggested before that we take our FCC TV logo and just take the TV out of it and go with that until we can get to our official logo. So I recommend we do it in two steps. So let's review what we've just discussed on the competition, vote on that, and then move on to a temporary logo discussion. Okay, that sounds fair to me. Derek? Would our, would our FCC without the TV logo would that be would that be enough? Should we should we keep going with uh, with giving up the, some of our budget to get a logo? If 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 everyone's happy with the FCC without the TV, we can get that done immediately. And yeah. uh, you know, the, only, the only thing I think you're missing out on is engaging with artists. But um, it certainly keeps our brand uh, lined up. You know, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, like restaurants do and all that stuff. They kind of have their colors and they have all that stuff. So we've got the teal and the orange, I think. And it wouldn't hurt to just to just to keep the FCC. Yeah, I'm not opposed to either one. I figure we get more money with the next grant money cycle, mm -hmm. so we'll have more local funds again. Um, so we have the money at the moment to put it in the community, but I'm not opposed to either one. Um, and also with the FCC logo, uh, FCC TV logo without TV, I could add something that says Fitchburg Cultural Council on it or something like that, if that is helpful. <laughs> yeah, whatever you guys think. Anybody so, else, Matt? We'll just move down the table. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the idea of engaging the artists, but I suppose we could do this for now and then think about this as a longer term 
project mm -hmm. as well. We can always revisit it next year and do it. Because I think, and, and I, I like the idea of us literally investing in the local artists by uh, returning some of the funds, but if this would be a good stopgap and it helps raise brand awareness of what we've been trying to do. So I'd be okay with differing for now. Joe? <laughs> Tamar, thanks. Um, what I'd recommend we do is uh, start to narrow down the conversation by taking some votes. So if those are so moved to, to motion on anything that we've discussed, feel free to do so now and then we can move the conversation along. Well, I think an easy one is we could take a motion to immediately change our branding to the FCC TV logo branding, because we need to do that for the council, mass council. So maybe we could get a motion for that first. Uh, I'll make a motion to change our logo to FCC TV, except without the TV, uh, maybe with Fishburne Cultural Council written on it, um, and revisit uh, um, doing this contest maybe in the spring, and that will also give them more time. Second. So we have a motion on the table to move the competition to the spring and use our FCC TV branding immediately. And Derek seconds the motion. Anyone else want to speak to the motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. So we're immediately changing our branding on social media to FCC TV branding without the TV. And we'll hold the competition at concept to after the grant cycle. Okay, very good. That gets us fixed for the Mass Council. They should be happy with us. Very exciting. Okay, that concludes our meeting today early. Thank you all for your participation and attendance. Thank you to the public for visiting us today. We appreciate it. And I'd like to take a motion to adjourn this meeting at 5.08 p.m. on Tuesday, October 19th. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>